Hello, we are back for our next our next instalment of the Firefly Forest. Okay, so we have completed all our lamp lines. We have done sections on page five and the top of page six. So we're down here now on number three. And we're looking now at our grass template. So let's find our grass template. So we've got a bag here with some folded green pieces in. So I'm presuming that's our grass. So the only thing is with these bags is everything becomes folded and crushed and squished so we have to make do with what we can and this all looks oh we have a visitor again hello my gorgeous girl and we have so we have twines and we have papers and we have corrugated so our grass looks hello my gorgeous girl so this is our grass and I know from the last one I did but that's our grass. Hello, my beautiful. You cannot use that grass. <laughs> no, it's not for you. Okay. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello. So, I'm going to try and flatten out my grass as best I can. Yes, no, not for you. Not for you, pretty girl. Let's put the book on top of it for a minute. Now, we need D12, our grass template. So, we have our templates and here. So, I'm going to... This is our template sheet. So, we, there we go. Down here at the bottom with a kitty under there somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. I'm sorry, baby. So we need to cut out D12, our grass template. So let's do that and then we'll come back. Well, I will cut out my template once my beautiful girl comes off. Baby. Mm-hmm. Sweetums. <laughs> Mommy needs to cut it out now. Oh, I love you very much, but I'm not getting my work done. Kitty. <laughs> She's not going to do. <laughs> oh, no, her box is so pretty. Okay, you come this way. Thank you, baby. Okay, so we've got our green grass. We've got our template. And then what it wants us to do is put the template on the back. And then it says... Apply glue to the red parts into the corners and then cut out the pieces. So we'll do that and then we'll cut out the pieces and we'll see what pieces we've got left after.
Okay, so I've cut them all out. Now we go down here and it says we've got to find D844 and we've got to find our base piece of wood and we've got to, so let's find our base piece of wood. Yep, it's the one with the hole in it. Okay, so it's this one here, it's the one with the hole in it and it's the one with the notch out the side. And we've got to, so we're gonna put that to one side and we're gonna find D844, which is in your, all your little, little cutouts. And it's down the bottom, D844, and so we need to cut that out. We need our baseboard and then we're going to be sticking on uh, da -da 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 -da, this one. And it says one layer grass. We need to be doing that one. That's going to go on there like that. So we're going to get on and do that one. Oh no, um, if uh, I was stretching it out to get a really nice because this fabric, once it's been folded up in the thing, it's got like creases and stuff in, so I was really stretching it out. Okay, so the next thing they want us to do is to put some of what they call um, tree powder, which is some of this, which you've got in your kit, little tiny pieces of like foam. It's a bit static, so be careful as you open the packet because it kind of goes poof. And uh, let me see if I can get it to focus because my camera doesn't always like to focus. If you can see, they want us to that one. They want us, well, it's actually the same thing on both pieces, um, to put the tree powder around the edge, basically to soften the edge between the grass and the water to make it all pretty. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to try and open this without it going poof. Okay, so it's a bit staticky. Try and tap down the packet so that it goes down rather than all over you. And then we're going to go back to the PVA. For the grass, because it's a bit heavy duty, I use the 3-in-1, the beacon glue. Because I just thought it would stick better. So I'm going to go and I'm going to put my glue along the edge um, and we're going to put it sort of like this. Give me a good sort of so that I can 
sprinkle the powder on and it's going to grab it. And I've got some tweezers to put it on. Right, do it like that. I could put some more on. Now I've got some really sharp tweezers. And we'll see how we get on with those. And I've got some bigger tweezers if. I'm just going to go, it's a bit of a, it's a different green, so it doesn't blend sort of fantastic, but I'm sticking to my tweezers. Stick to the glue. Okay, I can see them there. No, get on there. So I'm going to do this all the way around and I'm going <laughs> to, this is going to be tricky. You said this was going to be easy. This is why we do these things, to drive us mad. And I'm a little crazier than most. Right, I'll be back. Sweet, looks neat and tidy. Now I'm going to do the same process with... Uh, where are you with this little process here and then we'll see what's next so there is a hole under here somewhere that we're going to be using after for the lamp now the only way you can um, I suppose you could push through the sharp pair of tweezers you could do it with your craft knife I've got a little my little drill if we have a problem let's have a look oh, I don't, my little things aren't quite dry but let's have a look Okay, so I'm just going to punch you through. Can you see my little hole? And see if I can... Okay, so I've done it that way. Now we can see. Okay, so it's actually cutting really easy with my craft knife. I'm just going to... So I'm going to... I punched it through the one way a little bit and I'm doing it this way down most of it to make it neat. We need that hole because we want. So I'm going to grab it from the other end and pull it down with my tweezers. I want it neat so I want it to come. That will do. So we've got a little hole now and that's neat that side. Right, wonderful. Okay, so we've got some bits and pieces. Now we've got two mirror pieces and we've got the piece that we've just glued together and we've got a little triangular piece out of our uh, bag with all the wooden bits in. Okay, so it's telling us now um, this section here. It's telling us we've got the, two, the larger of the two mirror pieces, we've got a short side and a long side.
and we have to make sure that is in the right place. The short side goes with the back of our piece there and the long side goes with our shorter piece there and it wants us to glue that together like so. And then this little piece here should go with our smaller piece and that is going to glue like that with butting up with this edge here on the back edge so that it's flush like that. So we'll get and glue those. I'm going to do it with my beacon glue because that's the stronger. So, we are, I've done those pieces, those are uh, all dried. So now we're on to this next piece. We're here. Um, and this is where the instructions get really, um, it just says, stick it along the line. <laughs> okay, <laughs> lovely. Combination. So it shows us the three pieces that it's not showed us how it wants to glue them together. It's just showed us them glued together. So it means this piece. Well, we haven't even stuck the other pieces together yet. So we've got our left hand line, our left hand lamp line um, side wall. We've got a left hand side wall and we have the back piece, our back panel. And it wants us to stick those together. But what it doesn't tell us, does it want this piece at the back or this piece to the side? Now I'm gonna deduce from my jigsaw puzzle brain that in order to get this piece to fix properly, it wants me, can you see that properly? Um, if this piece is gonna go along here at the bottom, be careful because my, my wires are in the way that if I was to stick this piece on the back like that this then wouldn't fit properly it would stick out can you see that here it would stick out so it obviously wants me to stick this this way and then once that's stuck that way I'd be able to then that would would sit properly flush here so I'm going to stick it this way first and then once that's a right angle and that's glued, then I'm going to stick this piece on after. So that's what I'm going to do. stuck on and dry. See that's a nice right angle now. I use my ruler and my glue bottle to hold it out. They want us to stick this in like this. But if you look you have uh, let's see if you can see you have a dotted line here down here. You, they, you have to stick the edge of this along 
your water edge has got to go along that dotted line. So you've got two dotted lines, you've got to glue, put your glue here, and this is the thickness of your dotted line. So I want you to put the glue along here and you're going to fit your piece of wood in between that dotted line there. Okay, so your glue is going to go in your dotted line, but you're not only going to put your glue on this side, you're going to put your glue on this side as well. So at the same time, so we're going to slot it in like this. And then we're going to hold on tight and hold it really, really steady. Make sure you get those right on the, in the dotted lines. And we're going to hold tight. So let's go. we have something that resembles this okay so we have it says we should have five mil gap mine measures four by following the uh, line but four to five mil gap at the bottom here you should have your wires nicely tucked underneath the board the floor is now in place and you should have a nice starting to resemble the book nook. Um, and then what we're going to do now is glue our two panel pieces inside. So let's have a look at where they want us to put those. This is where it gets slightly difficult for me with my camera angles. Um, so the next picture just says stick it. <laughs> Pleasant. Um, and if you can see it just shows us this piece, uh, this piece just sort of stuck in the corner and the next piece, this one kind of stuck on top. So I'm going to show you my interpretation of what they've said <laughs> to stick it <laughs> um, where I think they're going to stick it. Um, but it's going to be a bit difficult for me trying to hold it as well, so bear with me, please. as far as we're going to go today the next uh, bit we're going to do is add some trees and bits and pieces and they're quite fiddly so I hope you're happy with what we've done um, for this little session it's time to take shape it's going to be cute um, I hope that's been helpful I hope the instructions I've tried to give you are clear um, yeah I'm not 
fantastic at this but I've tried to be um, as useful as I can so yeah um, until the next time let's keep going and see what we can do see you soon bye bye